Do you like New York cheesecakes? Boy, I do. I'm going to make one today. I have here one and a half cups of, uh, I have ground up some uh, graham crackers. To that, I'm going to add one fourth cup of sugar. And I'm going to stir that around a little bit. Oh, <laughs> then let me tell you what I was doing. As I stirred it around, if there was a little chunk of graham cracker crust in there, of that graham cracker, I was picking it out and eating it. <laughs> I thought Michael wouldn't see me since he had dashed off to let the dog in the house. Okay, to that I'm going to add four tablespoonfuls of melted butter. Now it begins to look like you're not going to have enough butter, but you do. All you're wanting to do is just coat, coat your graham crackers there. And then I'm going to pour that in all of it at once into my pan. Now this is a nine inch ungreased pan. And I'm just going to take the bottom of this little measuring cup and I'm going to even that out. Okay, I've got that pretty smooth. It does not need to go up the side. It's just going to go in the bottom. And we're now going to put this into the freezer and freeze this for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes while we make the filling. Okay, now this blue ribbon cheesecake, I like it because it's simple as falling off a log. I have my uh, crust in the freezer. I have here four eight ounce packages of cream cheese. And I have put it in the microwave for about 40 seconds. I just want it what we would consider room temperature. To that I'm going to add one and one fourth cups of white sugar. And I'm going to mix that up really good. Okay, now I have checked that. You want to check it, make sure all of your cream cheese, the lumps are out of it and it's smooth. To that I'm going to add, oh, if I can get the top off of it, I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. and three tablespoonfuls of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Three tablespoonfuls. Okay, now I'm going to mix that up really good and then I will add my eggs one at a time. Okay, now I've got that on a medium speed. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, continue to whip it, and I'm going to put one egg in, let that totally blend. Then my next egg will go in, and I'll continue with these other eggs until they're all blended in. Okay, we're going to turn that down. Scrape the side of our bowl. Make sure all of that cream cheese is in there in the center and that we're going to get that mixed in. That was mixed up pretty good. Not going to have to mix that much. Okay. Now I'm going to get my crust out of the freezer and we're going to pour this in there. Okay, now I really didn't go get this. I sent Michael to do it. He's standing here with his mouth drooling over this cheesecake, so I thought I'd give him a job to do. Trouble is, he wasn't gone very long. 
Okay, I'm going to put that into my crust. Now I have my oven at 350. I have preheated it. You always want to preheat your oven unless the recipe says not to. You do not want putting your stuff into a cold oven because it just doesn't turn out as well. See, this makes a nice, this is in that nine inch springform pan and it has just filled it up really nice. It's gonna be a really nice, pretty cheesecake when we get through with it. Okay, smooth it out just a little bit on top. And now I'm going to put it into the oven, a 350 oven for anywhere from 45 to 55 minutes. It has been 55 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that. If you test around right about two inches in and it bounces back, even if it's a little jiggly right there in the center, it's ready to remove. We're gonna set it over here and we're gonna leave it set there on this wire rack for 10 minutes and then we will put a topping on it. Okay, our 10 minutes is about up and I'm going to mix together now our topping for this. I have here one half cup of sour cream. Oop. One fourth cup of white sugar. Kind of mix that together a little bit. Things just interest me. You know, whenever we put this topping onto our cheesecake and return it to the oven, uh, this sour cream kind of puffs up. Uh, that's a mystery to me. Okay, half a teaspoon of vanilla. And one tablespoonful of the fresh squeezed lemon. I'm gonna mix that up. Now we're just going to pour that over the top. Now as your cake, the 10 minutes that you've given it, uh, your cheesecake kind of uh, goes down in the center and leaves just a little outer ring and that helps hold this into place. And we're just gonna kind of pour that in there. We want it to spread around and be all the way around our cheesecake on the top. And it just kind of goes in there. It just looks like a big old yummy something, doesn't it? And that's a little piece of sour cream I didn't get mixed up, and I don't want that in there. All right, I'm going to return this to the oven now, and we're going to leave it in the oven for five minutes. Okay, our time is up. And I'm going to take that out, set it here. I'm going to let this set on the counter anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours to cool to room temperature. Then we will put it in the refrigerator. And it really needs to set in there at least six hours in order for you to be able to slice it and it hold together really good. Thank you for watching.